So, what is, this energy feedback intensity? Do I choose standard? Or do I choose high? What is it? And what is the difference? Let's look at some um, definitions. And um, we'll look at three definitions. We'll look at uh, energy feedback. We'll look at um, uh, energy braking. And we'll look at uh, single pedal driving. Um, there's a lot of confusion around these terms. And um... Single pedal driving allows your accelerator pedal to control the deceleration of the vehicle and if you wish, bring it to a complete stop. So while driving, you could bring the vehicle to a comfortable stop by removing your foot from the accelerator. You therefore would only use the brake for emergency stopping. Um, the Edo 3 does not have a single, pe a single pedal driving. Uh, the Tesla does, and my mother's uh, golf buggy at the retirement village does. The formal definition of regenerative energy is the energy that returns to an inverter when a motor decelerates or a load descends. Or if you prefer a less technical description, it is the energy created when an object or, in our case, a vehicle, is slowed. Power generation plants, such as coal-fired, gas-powered and hydro, capture energy for our electric consumption. Regenerative braking is the capturing the energy used to slow a vehicle and storing it in its battery. It is important to understand that the amount of energy regenerated by braking is less than half of that required to return the vehicle back to its previous speed. The Atto 3, for example, when traveling at 50 km per hour, uses 127 watts per kilometer. If it were to stop at a traffic light along that kilometer, of course its regenerative braking would store some energy from the braking and be stored in the battery. But, the energy used to accelerate back to 50 km per hour would be more than that captured by the braking. Therefore the total energy used for the kilometer would be more than 127 watts. The Atto 3 does um, use regenerative braking to um, store extra energy in, in the battery. Um, when you put your foot on the brake, it first uh, takes the energy um, from the slowing down from the motor um, into the battery. Um, when it detects that there's extreme pressure on the um, uh, on the pedal, it will then use the um, uh, the physical brakes. The amount of regenerative braking is fixed at the factory, so it's a factory setting and cannot be reconfigured. Also, if you read anywhere that you um, you shouldn't uh, charge a battery to 100% because when you go out and drive, uh, when the energy is regenerated and put in the battery, there's no space for it. I mean, that's obviously wrong because <laughs> because the amount of energy that uh, that you use to get up to the speed is greater than the amount of energy you're going to get back. So there's just no way um, there's no way that's going to happen uh, unless the physical law of conservation of energy changes, which I can't see that happening. So the purpose of this. Uh, <coughs> little exercise is to show the difference between um, standard and high um, within energy manager um, so it's the the difference between standard and high with the energy feedback uh, intensity now it, it gives the impression that it's got something to do with having a better a better way of capturing the the um, energy uh, when you break but what we'll see is it's got absolutely nothing to do with that. It's all to do with um, uh, how you drive with the um, uh, accelerator pedal. So <clears throat> what we'll show is that when it's on standard, if you take your foot off the accelerator, you slow down at, at a particular rate um, and, and it captures the, um, the energy, of course. And if, if you got it on high, and you take your foot off the accelerator. Take your foot off the accelerator. It slows you down even fast. It slows you down faster. So it's just the speed at which it slows you down when you take your foot off the um, brake. Sorry, when you take your foot off the accelerator. Sorry, I'm trying to drive and talk at the same time. <clears throat> Getting too old for that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll I'll just come up here. It's a nice quiet road. Um, <clears throat> 
and um, we'll um, we'll try that. So we'll just turn up here, which is a nice quiet road, <clears throat> Rio Vista Boulevard. You didn't see that sign. Okay, so we'll just go up to this roundabout and we'll do our um, acceleration there. So we're allowed to do 60 along here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get up to 60. And when I get to this traffic light, or this traffic pile here, I'll take my foot off. I took my foot off. It's uh, got nine uh, energy at the moment. It's slowing right down to 42, 39, 35. Okay, so that, on standard, that slowed us down to 35 by the time we got to this road, and it was using 0.9. Oops. And it was using 0.9. So now what we'll do is we'll go to high, same trick again. It's a fantastic car. Really drives so nicely. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go up to 60. And as soon as we get to the telegraph pole, I'll take my foot off, foot off, you'll see it's up to 23, um, slowing right down now. So it slows down pretty quickly to here, and then it stops. So it's just, it's just taking it down, so we're almost at a stop. Oh, there's a guy bit because he was um, annoyed. <clears throat> Let's just do that once more. So we're going to do um, standard again. We're going to do standard. So this is on standard. And we'll go up to 60. And I'll take my foot off the accelerator. Foot off the accelerator. And there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to turn here. I've got to put the foot on my bump. So you see we didn't slow down that much. We did slow down, but not that much. Um, so let's do that again. We'll do that again, but with high. Put on high. Okay, we've got it on high. And we're going to do that again. So we'll go up to 60. When we get to the telegraph pole, I'll take my foot off. And uh, this time you'll see we'll just about stop before it gets to um, that, uh, hopefully this guy's not going to be upset. Okay, so we're going up to 60. Okay, we're at 60, foot off. So just about brings us to a creepy call. There's not much doing much difference now because clearly it's um, it only only affects it till it's about I don't know maybe 20. Okay so let's summarize. The energy intensity um, is about 
how you drive. So if you take your foot off the accelerator um, and you're on high intensity, um, it, it slows down much quicker than if you're on standard. So which one do you have? Well, I like standard. Some people are going to like high. So how do you, how do you work it out? Go for a drive um, with it on standard and uh, you know, particularly around the city, just, just go for a bit of a drive and see how, how um, you like that um, feel of the accelerator when you take your foot off the accelerator um, and reduce the accelerator. Or if you prefer for it so that it slows you down more. I hope that's clear. It, probably the best way is for you to go out and and drive with this on standard and drive with it on high and just see which one you like. I much prefer to um, use standard um, because uh, when you take your foot off the accelerator, it's it's. I just like it better. I mean, it's up to um, it's up to you guys as to what it is. But don't think for one minute that. Whichever one you have it on is going to in increase your range or decrease your range. It's going to make absolutely no difference to your range.